Hello, cousins. Welcome back to Chillin' with Abby. 12.04 p.m. Soil of labor. Alright, so you doing your thing, you know. Okay, okay. <sighs> Marriage privileged lady and false person. What? So you minding your business, here comes somebody on some bullshit. Sounds about right. Is somebody in the middle doing something here? What the fuck? Okay, I don't really know. So let me, let me, okay. Let me draw down on this again. What's this? Somebody working on some bullshit. Despair distant horizons and wealthy man. How the fuck is this person sad? I don't understand. You got a whole commitment here. Then you have an additional person with false person behind it. So you have like a mistress or if this not even a mistress, this just straight up somebody like, yeah. Like this could be some shit like. Hey, I'm I'm trying to get with this dude. Or I'm with this dude. Um, do me a favor. Send him a message on social media. See what he say. Let me see if he take that eight. It could be something like that. I don't know. I mean, honest. This already looks like something I'm not interested in. I'm I'm trying though, but we already seven cards out. Less than three minutes in, nothing interesting is going down in this reading. Okay, so one of two things. Either somebody accidentally got somebody pregnant or somebody... I, like, I don't fucking... Like, this shit seems like you don't even give a fuck about it. Like, because... What is this? This looks so weak. Off top, you got... <clears throat> so this could be somebody that they work around or something like that. I'm not sure. But you got marriage and privileged lady with false person. So somebody's already in a situation. Another person comes in to try to intervene. There's somebody standing in the way. With this false person and toil and labor, they could be dealing with each other. I'm not totally sure. But they do all come out in the same row. So either somebody's trying to get in between that connection or somebody is in between that connection. despair distant horizons and wealthy man and now this person is sad because they did allow somebody to, so yeah so whoever this is whoever this is you so either you or I, I mean i don't know this could be around you i'm not sure but whoever this is i feel like you were in a connection with this person this person decided to go fuck off with whoever this privileged lady is this false person and then they thought that that shit was gonna go like they so this somebody pretty much saying like oh i'll leave this person for you and then it didn't go down like that or this this other person was like bitch i don't want you like that or i don't like you like I, i'm not sure yeah thief somebody only somebody got off on this person right here they lost twice
Okay. Okay. This person straight up cheated on you with this other individual. Now, whatever went down between them two, clearly it didn't work out, right? Now, this person is completely stressed out, sad, and all type of shit because no one wants them. So they might have, I get the feeling that they thought they was 100% going to be with this other person and that was going to lead to marriage. They thought that this, this person that they was creeping with and shit, they thought they was going to they, they was gonna get married. That, that other person was straight up blowing smoke. So, this person right here, I'm pointing like y'all can see it. This masculine, this wealthy man right here was already in a connection. Fucked off with someone else and lost everything. The only thing that they may still have is their job. The only people who love them or the only person that loves them is their child if they have one. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, don't nobody fuck with this person at all. This, they're getting no love. Because I'm a criminal. Criminal. Yeah, Eminem criminal. I mean, that's the theme song I'm hearing from them. So, okay, that's not good. Okay, so, yeah, thief... Uh, pathway, mature woman, poverty and expectation. This person left. All of a sudden, they're coming back. They all fucked up. They all sad and shit. You want to know what happened? They cheated on you and then got fucked over by the person that they cheated with. Now they're coming back to you thinking that you about to be with them. Yeah. Expectation and community. So here they come. This person is about to be on your ass too. On your ass like back pockets. I'm just burning the hell out of my lip. I hate Duchess. I really do. Every time I tell my little brother, this nigga goes and get a Dutch. I cannot stand them things. But yeah, this person, mm -mm, they lost everything. Now they want to come back towards you. Or here's the thing, too. Here's the thing, too. Now, here's another story. Bet you ain't see this coming. Whoever this wealthy man is. Oh, okay, so he started thinking that he could play with you. Feminine, I get that. So he, take a high resonate, whatever side of this you're on. Feminine. This masculine was like, okay, well, you know what? I think I could be with you. I think I could deal with you or whatever the fuck, right? You thought that you was about to really be in a solid commitment with this person, but you had another thing fucked up, didn't you? You didn't understand that this person actually looked at you like, not like a random mistress, but like you was just like, hey, you just somebody I'm sliding with for real. Like, I don't really fuck. I don't really see you like that. Yeah, this person never saw this this heavy commitment with you. They was like, yeah, nah. Mm -mm. This person thought that so pathway of mature women. So they show up as the wealthy man. You show up as a mature woman and pathway. So you like, well, I'm trying to do this. You know what I'm saying? This, this whole thing, like the long way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, not playing with you. This person thought that, oh, you're, you're a little too eager. You, you're, trying to, you're trying to be too serious. Or you're trying, like, whatever the fuck this is. Somebody, I mean, because mature woman is showing up. That's somebody, like, you can play with, you can play with a privileged lady. That's somebody that really don't give a fuck. Like, I mean, shit, you know, I ain't really fucking with you like that either. Mature woman? Nah, bitch, I got shit to do. I got real things to handle, and I'm not about to play with you. I'm not about to, you not about to run in and out of my house like them little ass fucking kid playing outside. That's not what you're going to do. You run out this bitch, you're going to be outside. Do you understand me? And this person was like, well, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Okay, cool. They ran out. Now they want to come back. They thought shit was a joke. They thought that you was playing. Yeah, nah. Nah. So two different ways this is going down. Somebody cheated or somebody thought that they was just about to use you on some random weirdo shit and thought you was going down with it. And nigga, no. Now, either way that the story goes, whoever this wealthy man is, is the one in despair, distant horizon because they're at a distance and you're not fucking with them at all. Yeah, high honor. This person found out what it is. Like, the fuck? Fuck around and find out. Yeah. This this shit here is so stupid. 
I mean, because both ways out, yeah, journey both ways out. Because it's like all of the time that's wasted on this shit, this is absolutely dumb on both ends. Like, both ways this goes with, with, with this wealthy man that's masculine, this is some dumb ass shit to be doing. So you got the nerve to be the wealthy man. Like, you got the nerve to go to work and, and, and do your thing, handle your responsibilities on your off time in the off season. Your hobby is to play with people. Your hobby is to play around in situations. That's what that's what your hobby is. You're a lame. What the fuck? It doesn't matter how you look at it either side. Motherfuckers are lame. I mean, what else do you call that? Your fucking hobby is being corny as fuck. I mean, that's that's okay. You got your hobbies. I have mine. What is this? Yeah, cause high honor. Yeah, divine stepped in. Let me tell you what you're not going to get now. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, great fortune in reverse. Let me tell you what you're not going to get now. Yeah, sudden wealth. Yeah, so on the first story, so this person that was creeping with this other individual, when divine kicks in, high honor and great fortune in reverse, divine kicks in, oh, this person's whole world shatters. No wonder they're in despair. The only person that, they, they, like, it seems like both individuals here, the only person that they're loyal to is themselves. And that shows both ways out, though. I mean, because on one end, somebody's cheating. That means you're loyal to your fucking self. On another note, you playing with somebody, and, like, you're you're in the process of having somebody think that, okay, marriage and all that shit in the end, and in reality, you fucking playing, so you're loyal to yourself as well. Like, neither way, either way does neither party give a fuck about anything. So divine steps in and delivers this great fortune in reverse. So just simply shows that what the fuck you're not going to get. Let me show you what you've lost. Pretty much. Let me show you what the fuck's no longer on the table. Then let me show you what the fuck you did win. And let's see if you still like it. Because not false person and privileged lady. Not this person. Whoever they get stuck with. Now they looking at that person like what the fuck. Like how the fuck I get stuck with you. You earned that. What is this? You earned it. What you mean? poverty yeah family room let me show you what you're not gonna get and then let me show you what you're stuck with oh my god somebody's hating this somebody is 100 percent hating this yeah gift and child so what the fuck are you talking about So this could be somebody that you wanted to have a kid with, did have a kid with, tried to have a kid with, almost had a kid with, thought you had a kid with. I'm not really sure, but what I do know is they're sitting there thinking about that shit and then they're, they're just thinking about you. Like it, it's almost like a whole revamp that just happened in this person's head about you. Like they see everything about you totally different, but I mean they would because Divine just stepped in to show this person what they're not going to get. Let me show you what you've lost. <laughs> You're the mega grand loser. What's this? Yeah, a mature woman is in reverse. That's a done deal. Concern, bad health, official person, gift and child. Yeah, this person fucked completely up. You know, the craziest part is when Divine brings in a test and you don't know that it's a test and you react the way you're supposed to. I mean... It's a drill. Let me see what you're going to do. I'm not going to tell you it's a drill, but it's a drill. Let me see what's going to happen. And then, <laughs> you know, this reminds me of King of Queens. I forgot. I think the episode is called Oxymoron, right? So Doug and Carrie on the plane, they coming back. They flying back into, um, into New York. So they talking everything cool, you know, everything all nice, cool little vibe. Then the plane hits some turbulence as they're like landing or whatever. They get a little shaky as they landing. The air mask all dropped down. 
He immediately puts his on. He don't give a fuck out of like he pushed Carrie out the way. He didn't give a fuck about how Carrie just put this shit on his face, right? He just put it on himself. He's breathing heavy as hell. Then he's looking around, and the the captain comes on the um on the on the speaker and he's like yeah so we're on the ground and you know we've hit some you know it was a little shaky you know touching the ground but obviously we're on the ground and there's no need for air no need for the oxygen mask and he's just looking around like and she's she's sitting there looking at him like wow like wow so then they later discussing and he's like well what did i do wrong she's like what did you do wrong you grabbed the only oxygen mask and sucked on it like a fucking beer tap and you didn't care about me at all like that's what the fuck you did wrong what do you mean what the fuck did you do wrong? What are you talking about? So here's the thing in relation to this. Much like the plane having some turbulence once it hit, it was a little rocky once it hit the plane or it hit the ground and Doug freaked the fuck out. And Carrie's just looking like, wow, he literally pushed Carrie out the way and was worried about himself. So in relation to this, mature woman in reverse, great fortune in reverse. High honor in reverse. Divide put a test in a way in mature, uh, what's this? Uh, wealthy men and poverty. Buddy reacted completely wrong. Like, Buddy showed his real colors. So here's what it is. Did, oh, so this person made it seem like y'all was about to be this, you know what I'm saying, happily ever after and all of this. This is the second part of this, the second person. This person was like, oh, well, let, you know, I see us getting married and all this other shit. Divine. So I feel like what it was was Divine knew that this person was all fucking lies. So Divine was like, oh, yeah? Okay, so cool. So you're just going to sit here and keep fucking lying, right? You're just going to sit here and you're just going to keep fucking lying to this person right to their face, right? And they really don't know. Oh, I broke your heart, huh? You knew I was a fuck nigga from the start, huh? You should have listened to your head when you had thoughts, huh? You should have listened when they said I was a dog, huh? I did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, huh? You'll never be the same again. Put that on God, huh? Yeah, so I took your heart and then I tore that shit apart, huh? <laughs> Yo, this person blamed you. Oh, well, shit, you, I mean, you knew what it was. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You already knew that I wasn't even, whatever, whatever the fuck they said to you, right? Or whatever they said to this person, take it how it resonates. Whatever the fuck they said to you, right? Here's the thing, though. Again, Divine was like, okay, so you just gonna keep lying. You just gonna keep making it seem like you and this person, like you really feeling this person. Divine got pissed. Everything about it tells me Divine got pissed. This person completely lied because how e exactly the fucking star of the Knight of Cups. When that, when the situation got real, Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, this motherfucker left you by your motherfucking self. So this person didn't give a fuck about you at all. Yo, here's the funny thing. I can name two people that I, I could really put in both of these positions, but I'm gonna talk about the one on purpose. I had to head. Now y'all know about my graves and all that other shit, right? Because I I'm open with it. I mean, me talking about it is a lot of like some. I wasn't a fucking ER. These motherfuckers had to Google on their motherfucking phones. What the fuck? They thought I was pregnant, and I kept telling them I have Graves' disease. It's the same fucking symptoms as pregnancy, but it's not. So y'all be like, damn, why she always on 10? Because my hormones is, is, is like a pregnant person, and I'm not fucking pregnant. That's why. That's what Graves does, right? So I be, I be, I be on edge all the time, <laughs> right? Here's the thing. Now, one day, I'm sick as fuck. I'm talking, I can't stop puking for 13 hours on end. I'm like, oh, no, hell no. I, I, I'm i like, yo, I'm like, dad, I got to go to the ER. He like, all right, hurry up and go. Uh, uh, You know what I'm saying? But the thing was, I'm like, man, I don't really want to go because I know that they're going to keep me. Like, I've been throwing, I had every last symptom that says you need to get your ass to the ER. The last time in December, do y'all remember what happened? Yeah, my life was on the line. I was four days away from being in the fucking morgue. Yeah, yeah, it get real like that. It get real like that. So this time, I'm I'm not the fact that I'm in a relationship. <laughs> the fact that I'm in a relationship, y'all, this will fuck me up. Puking my guts out. I'm talking, I can't even take a shower. I'm talking, I'm standing in the bathroom trying to take a shower. I close the door, turn on the water. My anxiety, my panic attack, everything kicked the fuck up, right? Bro, I'm freaking out. Freaking out. I'm crying and shit. I'm, I'm losing it. I'm, this is what this shit does to you. I'm losing it, right? I can't breathe. I'm, I'm, I'm still like everything. I'm fucked up. Bro, headed to the ER. 
my auntie flying down the fucking street. My brother like, you want me to take you? I'm going to take you. I'm like, no. I'm like, no, I'm about to go up there. No, auntie about to take you. She, she already here. I'm about to just go out. She, she just about to take me. Listen, everybody moving out the driveway. All right, all right, all right, let's go. Man, we flying, right? I'm on the phone with this nigga. I'm like, look. I'm like, babe. He like, you don't feel good. You, you still don't feel good. I'm like, no, I still don't feel good. He like, damn. He like, all right. He like, you about to go to the yard? I'm like, yeah. This is when I knew it was, I been knew it was over, but this is when I knew I was completely done with this nigga right here. Nigga say, mind you, I'm violently sick. And I've been this, like, I'm talking, I'm violently sick to the point they can hear me throwing up, throwing up from upstairs with the TVs on and shit. Like, I'm talking, nigga, I'm done for it, right? And I'm telling this nigga I'm headed to the fucking ER. This bitch gonna tell me. All right, well, I hope you feel better. I mean, because, like, shit. He's, he's thinking that this shit is funny. He's in the background talking to his brother and shit, right? He like, shit, because, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I'll take you to the ER, but I ain't going to sit there with you. <laughs> Mind y'all, this the same motherfucker that after he caught a charge, I drove all the way to fucking Pennsylvania. I mean, Pennsylvania. I drove, uh, nigga, I drove... Two hours there and back. I'm going to just put it that way. Two hours there and back to go get this nigga. Because your whole family said fuck you and was going to leave your ass there. You in the middle of no fucking where You ain't even smart enough to download Uber or, or Lyft on your fucking phone and, and get a ride back. Bitch, you was about to walk all the way until you got to somewhere. That, this nigga was nowhere near. What? Okay, again, I drove an hour to get there right now i'm on the phone with you violently ill this is after the fact like a couple weeks after the fact violently ill and your motherfucking ass dead ass you not only are you laughing about it you straight up say yeah i would take you but i'm not sitting there with you nigga it was done right then and there it was done and over with right then and there it had been done, but, like, this was, like, 90 cherries. On, this not the cherry on top. This was 90 cherries on top, and you done cut the fucking piece and served it to me. Bitch, napkin, fork, and all. Oh, I was pissed. I was fucking hot. Do you know how fucking long? I was in the fucking ER for six days when I went in in December of 2022. I couldn't be by myself for four days after that. I had to be with my brother for four fucking days. And then after that, I ended up with my aunt because, again, this shit, it get real like that. Again, I'm open with everything on fucking purpose, right? Nigga, this nigga dead ass said, yeah, I mean, shit, I mean, I know you, I know that shit fucked up. How you feel? How I feel? I feel like I should be, I mean, hey. I, I, hey, I get banned off YouTube for saying that shit. <laughs> I'm fucking I get banned off YouTube <laughs> for saying that. Hey, listen. Hey, yeah, it get real like that. It get real. And people are really filthy as fuck like that. Really filthy as hell like that. Really filthy. Really filthy. Same motherfucker later then tried to come back around. Yeah, so if you think that this type of shit's not about to happen to you, oh, I'm telling you because it be happening to me first. <laughs> Hey, unfortunately, I'm DIY pioneering this shit over here. Unfortunately, I'm leading the fucking ship. But yeah, no, this person got shit totally fucked up. Like that, that, that shit dead. That shit is dead. All of all of this shit's going down. And this person is not all concerned about you. Take me and my story out of it, but you being in this position, this person couldn't give a fuck less about you. They couldn't care less. Let's also take it to the fact, because you know I'm petty. So let's just also take it to the fact that when I went in this time that I was violently fucking ill, I was in that bitch for four days. Four days. Four. Four. Yeah. Yeah, nah, nah. Then my blood pressure stayed in stroke level range three, which means I could have been out of here at any fucking point. Yeah. Yeah, it get real like that. It get real like that. It take, a, it take a special type of motherfucker to sit here and do what I do. It take a special motherfucker to sit here in the hot seat and be able to really talk to y'all on some real shit. It really do. It take an insane motherfucker. But I do it well. That's why when I see fuck shit, I prefer you not go toward it. 
You know what I'm saying? I already did. I already lived through these type of nightmares. I don't really think y'all should have to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So understand that this is coming back towards you, and it's gonna come towards you aggressively now. Mm -hmm. Cause y'all know that be the next mode. That be it. Hot head be the next mode. Especially when you find out you can't have something. Yeah, that be the next. That be the next mode. That's just what it is. Yeah. So courthouse and message. What, what unexpected income bad health official person and gift yeah thoughts all of a sudden this person or these people all of a sudden they really want you back now they really want to be around you and shit i get every like everything in me tells me yo spirit goons is coming in like hey they about to rush Whatever the fuck this is, because this is pure disrespect. After doing all of that shit to you, this person is then trying to come back around and really trying to tell you that, oh, like, oh, that was just a test. My bad. That No, no. that I mean, I didn't really, you know, this this is my bad. Because even up here with this privileged lady and false person, yeah, they gonna call it a test. No, that was, that was, uh, that was temptation and deceit and they fucking fell for it. He's stupid. So watch how he fucking fold. Where am I lying? He's stupid, so watch how he fold. They both are. They stupid, so watch how they fucking fold. What are you talking about? Take it how it resonates, because masculine, this could be you. This feminine stupid, so watch how she fucking folds. What are you talking about? I don't care which way this goes. Yeah, somebody trying to send you love messages and shit. This person out of their fucking head. Community and main female house concern. Yeah, coughing. Yeah, all of a sudden this person is, is gravely concerned about you and shit. Play on words, huh? Yeah, all of a sudden this person is gravely concerned about you. Why? Because you're completely done with them. See, this person, I think what's really hitting this person is whatever the fuck happens after the fact, that's what makes this shit worse. Or whatever the fuck, whatever they, like, I'm not really sure because Divine comes in with, I'm going to let Divine's business be what that is, but, you know what I'm saying, they ain't got nothing to do with me. But whatever Divine brings in on this person to show this person, not only does everything that they was trying to fuck off with get ruined, but then they have no choice but to be in this energy, like, forever in a day. This is some fucked up energy to be in, and actually, it's only going to really get worse. Why? Because I get the feeling that yo spirit goons done just came through. They they got riled up for this one. But you got the nerve to try to come back toward this person after all of this. Oh, we about, we okay. Tag us in. All right, bet. <laughs> that probably went over your head like my man's about to. I don't understand how I could ever care about you. Like what the fuck? Yeah, yo, peoples is not playing with this shit because this person has the nerve or these people have the nerve to try to come back around you. They fucked you over. Take it how it resonates for you. I'll just be giving my little story because this is how I fucking vent. So, take it how it resonates. But yeah, it fucked you over. Now they're going to be fucked over. And that's just what the fuck it is. What is it? No wonder my energy so goddamn high. No wonder. They here. They present as fuck. They present as fuck. Exactly. They present like a motherfucker. Yeah, because they had you fucked up. Occupation and uh and child. That is yeah, nah. Okay, cool. Cool. They won't be expecting shit when Chapo goes to slide. I told him that. I put that shit behind us, but we lied. Like the fuck are you talking about? Nah, ain't no no, ain't no fucking forgiveness when suffering is old, bitch. You gonna get that. It's just what it is. Why do I have to be nice? Like, what the fuck? Why would I be nice towards some energy? Let me tell These is just two of the type of people that fucked me over. <laughs> Baby, listen. Damn, Allie, can you give us some happy videos? All your videos are moody and dark, Allie. <laughs> Don't get me started. The fuck is y'all talking about? Yeah, no, your goons, your spirit goons, oh, they are heavy. I'll show you. I'm about to show you some. I'm about to show you. I'm about to tell you. What? I'm about to tell you. This is a twofer. This is a twofer. 
Some of you about high on her. Can't let him kill your vibe. Popped, ex popped out instantly. Well, shit, y'all can't see it, but. Damn, the light is there. <laughs> hey. Yeah, exposed. I knew something run right. New person wants love. Yeah, don't even bother us because your peoples is here. They they all over this. Don't even bother with this. these uh fucking scrubs and shit. Don't even bother with them. Okay. See, rubber man's just popping the shit again. Yeah, imprisonment is about to get bad for these boys. It's just what it is. Expectation, unexpected income, family room, <laughs> journey, house, message of concern, mature man, thief, bad health, and gift. Yeah. So this is a partial pregnancy scare as part of the reading. Somebody behaved badly. They've been lying and they got exposed. Somebody else was creeping and cheating and lying and spying and all type of shit. They, they, they got exposed. I feel like I missed another individual in here too. Somebody got a kid with somebody else and they kind of... Uh, it's weird. Okay, so yeah, there is a third individual here. There's a third individual that they have a kid with somebody else, but they actually wanted to have a kid with you and it didn't work out or something. They're also in despair. Yeah, like I said, it's getting bad for these boys. I'll be right back. <laughs> 